Hello everyone, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a benchmarking test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7 and Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Both of them are running on the exact same CPU, GPU, the amount of storage and RAM is same as well. So let's see which device is going to be better in terms of performance and how much difference we are going to get in terms of benchmarking test score result. But before we start, if you are new to this channel, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. So these are the benchmarking applications we got today here. We have already performed all of them and we will just have a quick look on the test score result. So first of all, let's start with Antutu benchmark. So the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7 scored 2.605734 million points and the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra scored 2.663040 million points. So as you can see performance of Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra is slightly better compared to the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7. If we go to the individual test score result, here you can compare the result of CPU, GPU, memory and UA and as you can see in CPU memory as well as in ux performance of z fold 7 is better but when it comes to gpu performance of samsung galaxy s25 ultra is better and because of the difference the overall score is better on samsung galaxy s25 ultra but our concern is primarily the overall score and considering that the winner is s25 ultra but if you have a look on the individual test score result in CPU memory and UX, performance of Z Fold 7 is better. So let's go back from here to Geekbench 6. This test is divided in CPU and GPU and the CPU test is divided in single core and multi core. So Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7 scored 3111 in single core and 10096 in multi core while the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra scored 3071 in single core and 9898 in multi core. So performance of Z Fold 7 is a bit better compared to what we are getting on Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. So in the CPU test the winner is Samsung Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7. Now if we go to the GPU test in this as well, Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra is a bit inferior compared to what we are seeing on Z Fold 7 as the Z Fold 7 has scored 19,752 and S25 Ultra has scored 19,630. So in both CPU and GPU test, performance of Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7 is better with respect to S25 Ultra. So in Geekbench 6, the winner is Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7 now if we go to the 3d mark so this is a gaming benchmarking test it gives the idea about the gpu performance and gaming capability of the device it is also divided in multiple tests here so if you start with wildlife in this as you can see both of them totally maxed out but if you have a look in the frame rate section here then you can see z fold 7 achieved 92 fps to 173 fps and s25 ultra achieved 102 fps to 195 fps so at both extreme the lowest and the maximum frame rate generation performance of s25 ultra is better in the wildlife test compared to z fold 7 so if you go back from here to wildlife cream and this z fold 7 is scored 6556 with 39.26 average fps and s25 ultra scored 6907 with 41.36 average fps so in wildlife extreme as well the winner is samsung galaxy s25 ultra now if we go to the solar bay in this samsung galaxy z fold 7 is scored 11178 with 42.50 average fps and s25 ultra scored 12422 with 47.23 average fps so in solar bay as well the winner is s25 ultra and now if we go to the teal nomad light in this this time performance of z47 is better as it is scored 2716 with 20.12 average FPS and S25 Ultra scored 2509 with 18.59 average FPS. So in Steel Nomad Light, the winner is Z Fold 7, but considering the four tests of 3D Mark in three of them, S25 Ultra was the winner. So we can assume that overall S25 Ultra is the winner in 3D Mark as well. So in out of these three tests, and to the benchmark Geekbench 6 and 3D Mark, in two of them, the winner is S25 Ultra. And in Geekbench 6, the winner is Z Fold 7. 7. Z Fold 7 comes with the latest Android 16 with one UI 8.0 so its performance is better in rest of the things but when it comes to GPU performance of Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra is better as we have seen in Android Benchmark as well as 3D Mark and we have performed these tests on the primary screen of Z Fold 7 not on the cover screen so maybe if you use the smaller screen the cover screen of Z Fold 7 
for these benchmarking tests, then there's a probability that scores might change and will improve a bit. But the whole concept of Z Fold 7 is to use the primary screen mode, especially when it comes to gaming. And considering that these are the test score result, these are the numbers we got while running all of these benchmarking tests. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, then do not forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe the channel, press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and I will see you guys next time in an another video. Have a nice day.